Okay, cool. So hi there, uh, I'm Shane, I'm the CEO of MXC. So what we are doing is IoT and smart city. So let me tell you what we exactly want to solve. So actually in IoT and in smart cities, a lot of sensors. So the sensors uh, doesn't have a uh, data privacy problem. So what we are exactly solving is this kind of thing, the cameras. So we all know that in EU and in US, putting this kind of camera facing the, the public space is something that you have to be very careful. So what we are doing is we put a convolutional neural network processor, it's an AI processor inside of this kind of thing to keep the video data at the edge. We don't transmit any kind of, uh, we, this thing can't transmit any kind of data, video data or audio data to the cloud. So this saves the cost while protecting your data privacy. So this is a, 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 the, the key uh, application that we are currently selling right now because it can really solve a lot of problems caused by Wi-Fi or 4G or 5G or Ethernet cables that need the cloud to process this kind of data in smart city. For example, you want to uh, uh, count how many people uh, passing by, you want to see whether there is a fire, you want to find someone that is trespassing. So we, we, we can all help you to process it at the edge. And we don't need the cloud to process this kind of um, video uh, scenarios. So why uh, uh, make sure that all the data will stay at the edge? We also put a radio here, it's called LPWAN or Low Power Radio Rail Network. So this is something that can transmit very long range. And also uh, we transmit this kind of data to the data concentrator. We also call it a miner or a gateway that collect this kind of data in a very, very low bandwidth manner and lo long range, low bandwidth. So how low? So I, I believe that a lot of you uh, used uh, pager, something called pager like 20 years ago. So this network is at low speed as that pager. You can't send any video, you can't send any audio, and you can only send a small amount of data. That is someone passing by and someone is moving. So actually you are actually making sure that this data network with the HAI and with such a network, LPVAN, it's really something that makes sure that all the data that flows inside of it will be 100% GDPR safe and CCPA safe. So uh, since it's not 5G, not 4G, not Wi-Fi, not Bluetooth, so it's a new network, how we deploy this network? So we, we give it a purpose to mine the uh, cryptocurrency. So this is something that would encourage people to deploy this network everywhere. And right now we are selling very well this kind of thing. So I will uh, give some financial figures later on. So we have a great, very big market attraction right now for selling this because people right now would like to put this on their rooftop or, or, or balcony to help to solve the GDPR problem because this network is very low speed, long range and low power. And we make sure that all the data flows through it. It's very, very protected. No personal identifiable data in this network will be found. So once we have this network and we are deploying this network with the community there, so what we are really targeting at is the data. Like I said, the reason why we use AI the reason why we build this network is to build an, a data network that uh, has no GDPR issues, then the people can really confidence that this is something that's really good and uh, I don't really want my data to be, to be offended like what Facebook and uh, Google has been doing to us. So we, uh, by uh, reaching this goal, we built an iOS and an Android app so this, uh, this app is already on the market uh, for quite a while. So you guys can search and download it. So this is something that would be the, the entry of all the devices and all the data. And people can uh, browse it, can manage it, and can profit from, from this kind of data network. So, so just one uh, simple e example how this kind of thing should work. So. Before that, uh, we, we find some customers that run the parking lot. So they only know that how many people are uh, going in and going out. 
but without a, uh, with our edge AI solution, they can get to know more about their customers. They can even find out how many Toyotas, how many uh, Volkswagen, how many um, how many Citroen are pass passing by, and what is their customers' age or sexuality or something like that. With with our solution, they we transform this kind of parking solution provider to a data smart city data providers that can get to know more about their customers to get know more about their business and they can profit from this data because like i said no video will be transmitted to the cloud and this data are 100 percent gdpr safe and we are profiting from uh from selling them this hardware and from sell uh, from leasing them this hardware actually we are not even asking them to pay for the hardware we can lease to them every month and then actually they are actually paying for the monthly subscription uh, subscription fee to get to to in order to get more revenue from selling the data from their uh, operations of the uh, parking lot so Thank you very much. Uh, uh, <laughs> we're already uh, over time for the for the five minutes. Okay. <laughs> so let's uh, let's start with some questions from uh, from the jury. Um, I don't know if one of you has a question. Yeah, just wondering um, how do you get the new tasks out to the cameras? So if, if they're counting cars, how do I get them to be repurposed to count bicycles or people? Yeah. So actually, it's uh, it needs some kind of data set training. So for example, you want to count how many parking lots, you want to count how many people are riding bicycles, you want to count like uh, whether there's a fire breakout or some smoke uh, inside of the mountain. So we need the data set to train it. And uh, after we trained it, we need to put this kind of model inside of this convolutional neural network processor. And then after we program it, this camera can recognize the, the patterns. Actually, it's re recognizing the pattern that we programmed, we trained. And then it can tell you how many people, how, uh, what age, what the sexuality, and whether the fire, something like that, choose to send to the cloud. Thank you very much for uh, the answer. I think there was also a question from Karin. Uh, yes, I have multiple questions. Uh, your story is very technical, also very interesting, but uh, so maybe I ask a question that is uh, already mentioned. But uh, first, um, match X is about, uh, because we have spoken to each other before in another context, it's about uh, LP1. For my yeah. concept, is this uh, a, a product uh that can add to the existing lp1 network or if you want to use this you have to uh first uh create an lp uh, lp1 network for this parking lot for example yes so this is something that has to work with lp1 network because like i said the normal sensors like temperature sensor or humidity sensor they they carry no personal data Right, so this kind of data that is very GDPR safe. So what we are talking about here is your video data. So by by making the LP1 and AI inside of this chip, so this chip has LP1 and also has AI processor inside of this kind of thing. So we make sure that the, the video that maybe captured your face or captured your whereabout will stay on the camera and transmit over 20 or 100 kilometers that's and without carrying any personal data yeah and who would want yeah. that sorry who would want that so normally it's a, like a parking lot or like a campus management and uh, also we recently got a very interesting case from switzerland so the the like cigarette industry they they have a, a regulation there so they have to count how many cigarette butts on the ground on the main street so actually they usually send people there but they find out we can use ai to count how many cigarette butts there so actually they would like to if they put a camera on the main street 
in, in, in Switzerland, it will be a very big problem, not only in Switzerland, all over the Europe and, and US, right? So by using our solution, we can make sure that no, none of your personal data will be transmitted to the cloud and it's not even able to transmit such a such a video. That's why we don't need 5G. We don't need the high speed of Wi-Fi, something like that. So they can put this kind of thing on the street facing to the people. But actually, it's fine. We are just counting the secret. But because what we trained, what we actually put here, the, the, the model, AI model we put here, only recognize the secret but uh, pattern. It won't recognize your face or won't even be able to record your your face so this actually is like i said how our killer application solves the problem of gdpr okay thank okay. you thank you very much um let's have one question from the audience as well before we move on to the next pitch so i'm going to give the word to uh, jose carlos our voice uh, our voice from the chat yeah so daniel is asking regarding your current market presence in which cities or countries are you already present uh, actually, you can check our website. We have two websites, MatchX and uh, MXC. So uh, we have uh, distributors over 60 countries. And uh, right now, this year's revenue, we are about to reach 50 million. And we're already delivering for more than like 5,000 units to all over the world. So we are covering more than 60 countries all over the world, like in all over the Europe and a large part of US and mostly Australia and China and uh, Japan, Korea. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, that's an impressive amount uh, of revenue already. <laughs> um, Good. There's a killer, for the sorry, there's a final question. What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, I'm part of EIT alumni, so I, so I was invited or uh, asked by Craig uh, to participate. 